It's live on KEXP. I'm your host, DJ Morgan, from listener-powered independent 90.3 FM KEXP in Seattle. We broadcast all over the world at kexp.org and on our free mobile apps. And we have been broadcasting live from the Thing Festival all weekend long. We have reached our last session. But I am so happy that we are here with one of our favorite bands. But first of all, I want to say hi to everybody in the room. How are you guys doing today? Thanks so much for being here. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for partying with us all weekend long. And please help me welcome, right now, Nation of Language. Is this a movie? Is it kind of play or a fantasy? Said to be recalled, and then suddenly realized they won't. It's a grind. Every time that I got something, I'm always out of time, always out of line, always into something I could never quite describe. Tennessee Miranda Push through. to the fog for providing auxiliary percussion on that song. <laughs> Actually, I didn't want to be outdone by wet legs, so I had paid somebody 20 bucks to pull the arm. <laughs> Things happen when we play too. <laughs> Oh. 
and no surprises. <laughs>
Definition of Language live on KXP here from Think Festival. Let's hear it for them again. That was amazing. So good. Oh. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of fire drill again. <laughs> oh, we're so happy to have you here. That was an incredible set. You just played uh, a couple songs from the latest release, A Way Forward, and a couple from the 2020 album, Introduction Presence, which are both just phenomenal records. Um, I'd love for you, Ian, to walk me through the timeline of kind of how this happened, where you make this awesome record in 2020, and then the pandemic happens. Like, can you walk me through that? And then, and then making another excellent record right on the heels. Well, thank you, by the way. Um, I mean, yeah, we, it, you know, we meant to put out the record in March 2020, and then the pandemic happened, and... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I tell you what, the smoke machine looks really cool. Yes. But it turns out it's, uh, it's making noises It's a sensitive, happen. you know. It's a sensitive thing, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sensitive, too. <laughs> the alarm has a sensitive uh, soul. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we, you know, we've been working on this first album for so long and then the pandemic happens, we're like, all right, we'll push it to May and that'll be totally fine. We'll be back out on the road in two months. And then obviously not. Uh, and you know, we really like, we thought we were pretty doomed because the live show was kind of the only way we knew how to get in front of people and like kind of earn fans, uh. And so when it was clear we couldn't do that, it was all like despair for a while. Um, but then thankfully to places like KEXP, you know, we come out of the pandemic, well, you know, quote unquote, come out of the pandemic. Uh, and there's just like so many more fans than there ever were before. We had like never sold out any show before, no matter how small we tried to make the venue. Uh, <laughs> And so, yeah, to come out of that with people wanting to come see us, uh, it was an amazing thing. But yeah, while we were in lockdown, we basically just started working on the next one because that was all we knew how to do to kind of keep that despair at bay and try to stay creative. Yeah, so when you, when you make the songs for A Way Forward, you start to pick singles and release them. When was the moment where you started to see it catch on? I mean, the fact that our first single after the first album, the first single for A Way Forward got as many listens as it did, we were like, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> Who's listening? Is it my mom a thousand times? <laughs> like, we were definitely suspicious. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, every time we'd put another song out and the, the momentum kept going, it was like, all right, let's ride this wave and see where it takes us. And it's taken us to some pretty bizarre and amazing places like this. Yeah. It's pretty bizarre and amazing to us. Yeah. So. And your singles were so good that we booked you on KXP before the album was even out. Um, we only had, what, three songs maybe that I we think knew? so. It was, a, it was a real, it was a very surreal honor uh, for us to like be able to, especially we were the first people that got to go back into the, the studio with all the lights and everything. And yeah. I like, stepped through the door, not thinking we'd be able to be in there. And it was like, oh, this is real. Mm -hmm. Like, we're doing a KXP session today. Yeah, it was at like seven in the morning too, so I was like, <laughs> am I dreaming right now? <laughs> yeah, well, that's part of being on the morning show. It's true, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's worth it. And, and so your, your album hadn't even come out yet, and then we get gifted with your album like literally the following week. <laughs> and I don't know if you know this, well, I told Aiden before, before the performance started, but your record got voted with a month to spare, the number four album of our listeners' favorite albums of 2021. That's pretty incredible. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> you earned it. It's great. I, I still don't get it. <laughs> so tell me... Um, since the album came out, you've been touring on it. How has touring been for the first time? Um, what are some of your favorite experiences you've had so far? I mean, it, touring's been incredible because you actually get to go out and meet the people that have previously only been like statistics on an app about like who's streaming it in Portugal, you right. know? And to actually like go to Portugal 
and to meet these people and and get COVID from them and get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing was, is caring, right? You know, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's amazing because you know people find the music in so many different ways, and because it was during the pandemic, people relate to it in so many different ways and have their own kind of stories and. Uh, I'd say that after the pandemic, I mean, even our hardcore fans before, I I feel like their reactions to seeing a live show were a little bit more muted, like more, I'm a, a social creature surrounded by other people and I want to play it cool. Yeah. And then after we came out of lockdown and got to play shows again, people were like crying and like smooching in the crowd and like really like giving themselves over to being an audience member and like becoming part of the show. And it was, it, it blew our minds. It was beautiful, amazing. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. I feel like this has been a theme for uh, all of the artists that we've had in these sessions this mm -hmm. weekend where, you know, everyone's been releasing records either in 2021 or 2022 um, and putting this like joy and optimism as much as they can muster into these records and, and bringing listeners and audiences records that are um, bringing them hope are making them dance. And I feel like your record is really resonating with people in that same way where uh, these are songs that sound like they, they've almost always existed. They're very familiar feeling. They feel like home and they make you dance. So uh, being able to, to see you in a live setting like this, I think is very moving for people. It's moving for us too. Yeah. And I will say that literally no matter where we went in the world, someone would come up to us. We were in Switzerland, and a guy comes up in full decked out KEXP gear. <laughs> and they're like, KEXP brought me here. And I'm like, you too? That's our marketing crew. So thank you guys. That's our yeah. marketing crew. <laughs> <laughs> the love is very mutual. <laughs> Aiden, I wanted to ask you, just a handful of days ago, you released uh, a cover of uh, Shari Vari with Nancy of LCD Sound System. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that as a cover? Yeah, sure. So our friend and manager is from Detroit, and he is like a huge fan of Detroit music, and he was like, Aiden, listen to this song, see if you like it, and if you do, maybe you should try covering it. And I loved it. It's like the most bizarre, like strange song. It's kind of spooky, but like very danceable and fun. And then I watched the music. Well, it's not really a music video. It's sort of a, just a video of people in Detroit like listening to the song and dancing. Kind of like a Soul Train kind yeah, of Yeah, like vibe. a Soul Train vibe. Cool. Um, which you should all look up because it's incredible. Everyone looks amazing. There's a guy like with a guitar that's not plugged into anything, just dancing just, with yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I, I wanted to put this song out. Maybe, it, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it, I, I did my best to do it justice. And um, yeah, Nick and Nancy, Nick, who was our producer for A Way Forward, um, on half of, the, uh, of that album, and Nancy, his partner. They liked the track as well, and so she came down and sang backing vocals with me, um, and that was surreal as a huge fan of LCD and Nancy's right. work. Um, so it was super fun, and yeah, hopefully it gets like, into the right hands of people who love like Detroit techno early music and like who love to dance and who love to like DJ with vinyl because I'm putting my first vinyl out. Cool. Yeah. That's, so that's awesome. pretty exciting. Like a solo record? <laughs> yeah. Rad. Can yeah. you tell like us more information it's about It's a 12 this? inch. It's a 12 inch of the song on one side yeah. and on the other side uh, a dub mix of the song done by the producer. It's like so much fun. Wow. So, tell yeah. us the original artist and when it, when is it from? It's called A Number of Names mm -hmm. because it was literally a, like a group of several people and they were like well we're just a bunch of people what should we call ourselves a number of names um it's and it's from names. yeah it's from 1981 cool yeah. yeah i you know i found out about it literally two days ago while we were broadcasting here oh, my yeah. coworker troy was on the air and while i was waiting for a session to start he was playing your song Amazing. and said this is aiden from nation of language i was like oh my gosh i've been so head down in this i didn't even know you released that that's so incredible i got to hear that for the first time here I'm so that's grateful super that's cool. awesome yeah is nation of language working on any new music right now or nation of language is always working on new music excellent uh, i'd love to hear it yeah well i mean we've been basically anytime we haven't been on tour been trying to like pop into the studio and we'll be doing that again over the next few weeks and so there'll be more things coming in a steady stream until no one wants to hear our band name again. 
Yay, that's exciting. And that's not going to happen. <laughs> We're always going to want to hear your band name. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for that amazing performance. We appreciate you so much. Thanks for being our final things session. It was an honor. Thank you, you were thank the you all. Yeah. yeah, thank you all so much. Nation of Language, everyone, live on KEXP. Thank all of you for watching and listening today. We have thousands of live performances on our YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. And all of these thing sessions you can watch, uh, we'll be posting those later as well. And if you'd like to uh, donate to help make all of these sessions possible, you can do that at kxp.org slash live. This has been Nation of Language, live on KXP from Think Festival. Thank you, everyone. That's a wrap. <laughs>